The deplorable state of politics in this country. Right now we have a recalcitrant fool in WA locking up his state, locking out his own residence, still pursuing an impossible COVID zero policy, not because it's supported by science, but purely for political reasons. And instead of being universally mocked and condemned, Mark McGowan is being supported and even praised by both Labor and the Coalition. Did sure, Mark McGowan do the right thing by deferring the planned border reopening? Yeah, I think he did. I mean, Omicron, as we learned over the summer, um, is a completely different virus. But, Prime Minister, are you saying that it's safe to travel from Brisbane to Melbourne or from Adelaide to Sydney, but not from Perth to anywhere? Well, I'm saying that's the Premier's call. That's what I'm saying. And he has to make that decision based on, on what he thinks um, his health system is ready to absorb. Why is a Conservative Prime Minister who wanted to reopen the country at 80% double vax supporting mad Mark McGowan? Where are his Conservative principles? When is he going to take a stand for all those devastated by this border closure, families ripped apart? We had tennis star Matt Ebden on the show earlier this week, fresh from playing in the men's doubles finals of the Australian Open. He is right now locked in hotel quarantine and absolutely shattered about missing the birth of his first child. There are thousands of cases of similar hardship and worse. How about the PM take a stand for those Australians rather than back Mark McGowan? Now, of course, we expect Anthony Albanese to back his man. I think that Mark McGowan is making sure that West Australians stay safe. So it's not surprising that Mark McGowan has taken a cautious approach. That's something that he's done throughout the pandemic. If you think that's bad, have a listen to Labor's Christina Keneally, who seems to think folks in Sydney are just looking wistfully at WA and wishing they live there. Well, I'm here in New South Wales, and uh, let me tell you, uh, the people in New South Wales are really struggling, Kieran, and they probably look upon uh, the freedoms and the uh, and the, the benefits that people in WA have, where they have so little COVID, uh, with a, a little bit of jealousy. You know, here in New South Wales, we have, uh, you pick any suburb and you will find shops that are boarded up that are not going to reopen. You will find pharmacies that, where you can't get a rapid antigen test for love or money. What, what planet is she on? All this support for McGowan means that he'll keep enforcing irrational, disproportionate and destructive policies. And today he was bragging about the support he enjoys. I'd like to thank Prime Minister Morrison, opposition leader Albanese, for their support of WA's border controls, which are designed to reduce the loss of life and jobs in WA and help minimise the disrup disruption Omicron will cause in our community. Help minimise? No, Premier. All you're doing is a delaying tactic, a costly, foolish and ultimately futile delaying tactic.